From the TIA Portal Project view, expand the HMI element listing from the project tree and double-click Text and Graphic Lists. In the Text and Graphics List working window, select the Text List tab and add a new text list by giving it a name. The selection option should be chosen to meet the application. In the example, the new text list will be associated with a range of values so the selection will remain on value slash range. We will now enter the value ranges and the actual text associated with each listing. With the text list complete, it can be used in a screen. From the project tree, expand the screens listing and double click the screen which will have a text box inserted. Drag and drop a symbolic I.O. field onto the screen. And resize as necessary. With the element highlighted, select the Properties tab in the Configuration area and change the mode of operation as required for the application. In the example, we will use it as an Output Only field. The text list must be associated with a process tag to define which listing should be displayed at a given time or value. Define the process tag the count value in this example. Now we need to select the text list we wish to display. The text box can be animated as well. In the example, we will add appearance animations to enhance the element. When the text box configuration and animation is complete, we can test the application. Select the highest level HMI element from the project tree and click the simulation icon in the main menu bar. The Somatic WinCC Runtime Advanced window opens. Change to the screen that has a newly inserted text box. 
Note that the text field is visible and active. In the example, we will reset the count and see that the text field not only has changed the text displayed, but the background color as well. We will bring the count down to test the text field configuration. At the values assigned, the text field changes as configured. The text field has been inserted and linked to the new text list. If everything is satisfactory, the project should be saved.